Okay, this video is going to be about how I fold and pack my ozone uh, spider three wing, and they say to use this concertina packing method, which I learned in training a little bit different than what they say in these instructions. So I'm going to go over the instructions, and then I'm going to show you unpacking and packing. But the basics are that you protect the leading edge with the uh, um, uh, plastic things in them. You fold them up and uh, getting it to the size that it fits in the uh, concertina bag. So, uh, unfortunately, I feel inclined to uh, explain the concertina. So, <laughs> uh, basically the manual says you mushroom the glider and then you collect up all the leading edge um, reinforcements, I guess they call them. Um, and then they say put a band around it, which I didn't do and I didn't have a band that worked. I tried. Uh, you'll see later if you stay tuned. And this is the way I learned in class, but they say don't do it this way. Basically, you're just making a stack instead of making two stacks and folding them together. Um, and then... From here on, you're sort of getting a lot of the air out and then just tucking the leading edge in and then folding the rest of the wing on top of it and getting it down to the size of the bag. Um, but those instructions are, I mean, crummy little pictures. I mean, you know, six or eight crummy little pictures. So let's look at the factory packing. And I thought, um, I thought I'd show you just pulling it out of both bags. I mean, it's nice to have this, this big bag when you're on the field and you just want to get the glider out of the... Uh, the UV out of the sun, degrading it. Um, but they, they, it came with both of these bags. So this is the, this is the factory pack, exactly the way I got it, uh, got it from the factory, or pretty close. I actually had these risers out of the bag once and fiddled with the um, trims. But anyway, um, they, they got these risers in the bag. They're tied together, and um, I'm just. You know, kind of looking at them here, just to show you what what they look, what these risers on this thing look like. It's a little bit different than my um, some other wings I've had experience with. Um, so, flipping the um, or unclipping it and pulling the or un unfolding the, the glider, you can see that it's it's uh, they folded the leading edge in and then they folded the trailing edge right up to the leading edge, uh, where all the those little reinforcements are, and they've got the um, the riser or the, all the lines tucked in the middle of the um, you know coming out the trailing edge, which is standard. So um, let me flip this trailing edge down here, and we'll take another look at it. I'm just looking closely at the factory pack, fig figuring that if uh, they packed it this way, it must be the right way. And see, it's basically just a stack. Um, uh, and a concertina is also kind of known as an accordion. And so it's an accordion fold, if, um, if you want to use that other word for it. So I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna go through here and just kind of look at the leading edge and inspect the uh, the uh, the glider. I you know I don't expect any any uh, defects or damage or anything like that, but might as well take a look when I have have the time to do this. So I I'm just gonna pull this out and kind of take a look at, at uh, the cells and make sure that everything looks about right. It's beautiful. It's very slippery, though. I'll talk about that when I'm trying to pack it back up. And here's the uh, center cell, and it shows that it's a 26. And uh, some of the specs. Finding the, you know, there's there's one, there's, there's some little um, um, stays. I call them stays because I'm a sailor from old days. Uh, out in the uh, the very very tips, and then there's um, bigger ones in towards the middle. 
And so I just got the uh, leading edge spread out here, and I'm going to look at how they got this laid out. And it's basically just the middle area doesn't seem to be all that organized, if you will. It's kind of, it's like they zigzag the trailing edge, and then they kind of let it, let the middle kind of go wherever it wanted to go. And if you had two people, you know, one person on the leading edge and one on the trailing edge, it would be um, a lot easier to do, I think. And when you, when you mushroom this glider, look at how much trailing edge is, is dangling around my feet. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to figure out a way to, um, to take a bite out of the trailing edge lines before I, I mushroom it. So take like a little bit of, of uh, trailing edge um, slack so that when I mushroom it, there's not so much uh, material dangling around if you're going to carry it and not drag it, of course. So I'm just spreading out the trailing edge a little bit here, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah. I was going to, um, before folding, I was going to flip the, oh, you know, I was checking the trimmers, that's right. I mean, it, I, I, I was trying to identify if, whether they were in or out. And I had, I had set them there. I think when I, when they, from the factory, they were set to the red line. So I'm I'm spreading out the trailing edge so that so that it's more like you know when you're at the at the field and you're and you're um you're gonna fold it for uh, being done with done done with it for the day. They have them tied that they have the risers tied together with this little piece of fabric. But that doesn't work for what I'm going to do next, which is, and this is a trick that um, my instructors um, showed me. You just, just a flick of the wrist and you just put all the lines right on the wing and try to have as few lines dangling outside the trailing edge as possible. You get all the lines on the wing and fold it up inside of it. And you just leave a small about a bit of risers that are coming out of the trailing edge like that. And so I had to split them up, split the risers in order to, in order to do that, because you, you kind of go in there and give it a little flip to get the, get the lines on the, um, on the wing. This looks, uh, Looks messy, but they're they actually, um, you know, you could pull that right off and it wouldn't be tangled, as long as you don't get anything too too close to the leading edge. So now now we're ready to fold. And uh, oh, I guess I'm going to put more lines up, up on, the, on the wing. Actually, the bottom line when I <laughs> when I did finally get this thing all almost completely packed, there was still some lines dangling out just because of the way I, uh, I compressed the rest, the middle of the wing. So here, this is pretty straightforward. Just there's there's actually stays in or you know or, what are they how do they call them supports in between so I've, so there's one full one and then there's a half one in between and that one's sticking out there I'm gonna push that in a second that's a half one you know, not a complete you know. but it, the fabric is really slippery and so it's hard to keep it from you know getting um, getting messed up. And I was being very picky just to see if I could do this very neatly. And I don't expect that I would maybe take this much effort time every single time I put the wing away. But when it's brand new and I'm just practicing, I figured I'd take my time and, and 
you know, try to do it right once and <laughs> get practiced at it because I'm, you know, I didn't do this very much um, when I was in training. I did uh, uh, primarily just the stuff sacks because the wings were <laughs> not, they, they weren't super high quality. They're pretty, some of the wings in the train are a little bit up on the beat side. But you get out, out to the, to the, to the tips and it's, um, this is, so this is the, this is, on, I'm just cutting back to the um, original factory. But you get out to the tips and there's some kind of hidden braces or uh, stays in it. And, uh, I know you're not supposed to kneel on the wing, which I wasn't doing. I'm just using my knee to to, to hold the leading edge that I've got already concertinaed. I'm going to have a little background music for the. I should have had this before, but. Don't worry, it doesn't last that long. <laughs> Here we go again. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna finish this side. It's kind of long, long uh, cuts. I didn't realize these were <laughs> quite this long. I wouldn't. Have, uh, sorry for uh, not respecting your time. But you know, this is this is kind of the most important piece anyway. Not that you need to see every cell get folded here. I, I think you get the idea. Um, but just just to give you an idea about kind of how long it's taken me to do this for the first time. So that's it. Now, if I could keep these things together, that's what you're supposed to do. They say you're supposed to tie a band around it. They don't tell you what kind of band. They give you this. Well, here's the wing way out of it. Right now, it's the trailing edge is all just fanned out like that. I see. If you were, I think, if you were um, had more than one person, another person could be working on the back of the wing, and you could be working on the front of the wing. So here, when crush this down and put a band around it, and Use your little squeeze box <laughs> analogy. So I put this on there and then it ends up slipping off as you'll see later. Because here I am in the trailing edge of the wing. I'm in the center of the wing and I'm just following the, the existing folds, which is cheating because those folds aren't going to be in there um, forever. You know, those are going to you know, kind of wash out or whatever. But I'm just following the factory fold and so I think in real life, this is not the right way to do it. Um, it just happens to be the way I, I did it during this video, which you know, I'm not sure how valuable this is, but at least I didn't show you folding everyone. <laughs> I mean, that looks nice on the trailing edge right there, but everything in the middle is just sort of the way it is. And, uh, and then when I compress the air out of it, um, and now you see, see, see all my, my uh, leading edge popped off. And so I've got to redo that. I told you at the beginning this was boring, didn't I? Hopefully. Hopefully I warned you. So I decided to put the, the strap around the middle. And then I could do some folding without that moving too much. But the lines are kind of everywhere-ish. Not too bad. I don't think, I think I'll be able to take this right out of this fold and pull it open and there won't be a tangle in it. Here's the wing tips. I just thought I'd show you that just to, for the fun of it. Anyway, here's redoing the 
leading edge, and there's that hidden last one up there. And that's both sides done now, and I'm going to lay it on its side, which is what they say to do in the instructions. And since I don't have a strap, I used a, a, a brick that my mother-in-law crocheted around. <laughs> Just happened to be sitting in the garage. And then I'm going to take the, the whole thing and kind of squish it and put it on its side. So that's going under, that, that, that side of the wing is going underneath. And uh, the other side of the wing is on top now, kind of. <laughs> Got it on top ish. It's not, uh, not a perfect science here. I'm getting some air out. Starting from the trailing edge, going towards the leading edge is the recommend, rec recommended uh, approach since the air comes out easier up there. So I'm going to take make my first fold. Now I made the folds kind of in the wrong, or the fold on the trailing edge in the wrong place here. Different than the factory. I, I didn't realize what I was doing. I should have not done this short fold. I should have done a very long fold. But as it turned out, I did kind of two. I did another one on the trailing edge. They do one on the trailing edge and then fold it in half. And I just did a little bit different. And now I need to take the brick off just to let some air out, I think. Or no, I'm folding in. Yeah, I did a little bit, uh, a little bit farther fold than the, than the factory path. They really did fold just the, uh, just the leading edge in. And then I'm going to fold the whole thing over here. And it looks like it's about the right size for that bag, that concertina bag, that small bag. Get some of the air out here. Not too many lines dangling out. Not too bad for the first pack ever of a slippery new glider. Get the strap around it here. It's, I mean, I'm sure people that are really good at this and that have done it a million times are just shaking their head going, this guy's a hack. Well, yes. I definitely don't claim to be an expert. This is the very first time I've packed this glider ever. So, in the bag, risers in the bag. Did I say this was a boring video? Oh yeah, I did. There we have it. All ready to go to the field and stick it in this bag in case I want to just mushroom and walk. So that's, that's about it. I know you can't believe you actually stayed to the end. Good for you. But that's my uh, folding lesson. I looked for one on YouTube, uh, uh, and I didn't find one. So you're gonna have to settle for this crummy um, one. Or if you if you find another one that's a lot better, please put it in the comments. I'll heart the thing. I don't want people to watch this video. I want people to find a good video to watch. So thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll find safe flying ahead for you. <laughs>